Hello everybody, Tom Davis here, PGA Golf Professional, bringing you day two of golf in quarantine. Hope you're all okay and are not missing golf too much. So yesterday I brought you a video where I talked about a concept that would help you when we can eventually get back out onto the golf course. Now what I want to bring you today is an idea of how you can maybe practice some movements in the golf swing at home, whether that's out on your balcony, out in the garden if you've got one, or if you've just got limited space in your apartment. What we're going to do today is work with something which most of you should have lying around, is a broom. If you don't have a broom, then any kind of long stick will do, or a golf club would do the same thing if you have your golf clubs to hand. This drill is going to be helping you to work on how the upper body should move in the golf swing, specifically looking at the downswing. So how does the drill work? I want you to take your broom or your stick, hold it across your chest like so, with most of the stick or broom pointing out past your trail shoulder. If you are using a broom or anything with a head on it, it's a good idea to try to get this lined up with your spine as you stand up just going to give you a little bit better feedback as you make that move down to where the ball would be. Now we're going to take the stick, hold it across your chest like so. Standing straight upright, down into your golf posture. What I want you to do is as you go back, is the lead shoulder will go down like this as the brim goes back up behind you. Now as you come down into what will be the downswing, I want you to feel like you are going to brush the ground with this broom. And you can see from here, my shoulders are tilted down to the ground. The broom is down to the ground, not pointing up this way. So down here. So see this from the down the line view. Broom across the chest, into my golf posture. Lead shoulder goes down. As I come down, brush the ground. A lot of the golfers that we see do not do this very well. What we tend to see is a lot of people who move their shoulders very flat on the backswing. There's a cat. Hello, buddy. Move their shoulders very flat on the backswing and then very flat on the way down. It causes real issues with contact with the ball and, of course, then direction and distance. One thing we maybe see with better golfers is they get this kind of bending, the shoulder goes down, but they don't add in the turning. And so we tend to see maybe better players, and certainly something I see with younger players, is a lot of uh, blocks, pushes, and hooks. But when they get it right, big powerful draws that go a long way. So give that a go, broom or a stick, across your chest, turn back, down, push the ground. One other thing that we were thinking of doing, and we'd appreciate your feedback on, is to run a series of videos where you guys would send in your videos of your swing, and we would do a free analysis of those. I would obviously share them onto our social media so that not only you can learn from them, but other golfers can learn from those videos as well. If you would like to be included in that, either comment below or just send us a message, and we will tell you how you can get your videos to us. Make sure that you, if you're on Facebook, that you like this video, share it around, share the page as well. You can also follow us on Instagram at performancegolfsk. Stay safe, everybody.